The gift that I have is that I found the torture that I'm willing to live with. I think you have to have a sense of irritability. You have to have a sense of like, like angst and being uncomfortable. I mean, that's where observation comes from, I think. Because if I want to draw and somebody sits next to me and doesn't care that I'm sketching, like they bump into my arms and I start thinking about this person and where they're going and where they came from and like whatever they have to deal with today, that's where like, my observations are heightened. I think once you're comfortable, then that's when things get stale. And, and uh, yeah, and then, then, then what am I painting for? So. If I have an idea, you know, it kind of helps to just sketch it out sometimes and maybe I'll realize it just needed to be a sketch. It didn't need to go further than that. And sometimes I'll find out after sketching it, maybe it needs to be something greater. And maybe there's something else more for me to find in it. I have a unique and individual relationship with each medium, so uh, I think they allow me to do different things and I think they make me do different things when I'm using them. With paint, it's a little spontaneous, it's a little layered. With charcoal, it's also uh, very immediate. And with pen, it's a lot slower paced. It's kind of a quieter experience. I think uh, style is crystallization for an artist. It kind of strips away the possibility. I try to make each piece so that it exists the way that it needs to exist. When I get done with a painting, I don't really care what happens to it after I'm done. It's all about the time that I spend in front of it and creating it, and that's why I make the thing. Like, I don't need to see this anymore. All I wanted to do was make it. And um, that's where like the satisfaction comes from, is through navigating through that experience. I think success is like, is death. Because if I feel like I've already done it, then why keep doing anything, you know? So I think once you're comfortable, then where's the thrill? Anytime I've tried to have a plan in life, it just never gone that way since the beginning. I've always lived my life in a way that allows for any opportunity to happen. And as much as I am passionate about painting and as much as it fulfills a big part of my life, I suppose I'd have to be open to the idea of not painting anymore. I'd have to be open to the idea of moving on to something else. I have to be willing to abandon painting to really appreciate what it, what it means to me now. Does that make sense? Let me think about it. <laughs> <laughs>